All right, what's up everybody? So uh, I'm probably gonna have a different uh, viewer base than I typically do for this, and uh, I know these streams aren't super duper interesting, but I'm making some game art. This is actually super meta because I just made the thumbnail in Affinity and then took a picture and then, you know. Anyway, uh, so this is some guy I made the other day. Um, let me show you, here it's in my Discord. These are the guys I've made so far, right? This is going to be a turn-based RPG that you're gonna actually be able to play in my live streams. Uh, and so here are three of the characters you can choose from, the Bulwark, the Swordsman, and the Drunkard. Um, and yeah, so anyway, today we've got a few more characters to make. Um, we'll see, I might just do one, maybe I'll do two, we'll see. And I'll go, kind of take you through the process of how I do this uh, using Affinity Designer, fantastic program, and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a template for all these guys, and they're gonna be like bone animations, so like the arms will move and stuff like that, kind of like Paper Mario. Um, I'm sorry, not new. We want to go file open. And then I've got oh, here art, adult template. Okay, cool. And then let me close out of this. Don't save these. Okay. And then I'll do command shift save. So we'll save this as new. And then I need to save this in a different spot. Godot code, live stream games, art files. Okay. And then. Hmm, okay, so let's go here. Let's look at a list of all the characters that I, uh, there it is. All the characters that I wanna do. Also, let me know, I'm trying to look at the chat. It doesn't look like, oh, the chat is not kind of working. What the heck? That's super odd. Let's see. Still not working? There we go, okay, sorry. That was on my end, it's probably working for you guys. But yeah, no one said anything. Let me just go, hey. Okay, anyway, all right, so. Oh my God, I hate that it's doing this. Nope, fuck. Yep, they're all my public emails for you guys in case you're interested. Um, <laughs> game ideas, okay. Let's come right here. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so we've made the Bulwark Swordsman. Oh, we, we could make the Bard. So we've got the Bard left to make. Uh, we also have the Archer and the Mage. I think I might be feeling Mage though, because the Mage is cool and I don't think it will be too, too hard. Um, hmm, yeah, let's do the Mage. Let's make the Mage. Okay, so anyway, okay, so I'm gonna save this. We'll save this as Mage in here, save, okay. Uh, so I've got this, as you can see, a template for all of them. I did want to make, is they're all my characters are white right now. <laughs> I want to add a little bit of diversity. Um, so maybe I shall do these. Uh, should the mage? Yeah, the mage could be black. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm going to make the mage black. So we're going to make... I've got a color palette here that I've been using, which I think is really helpful. Uh, the only problem here is like... Uh, well, I guess we could just use like... Kind of one of these colors for his skin tone. Yeah, that can be black. Definitely. Oh no, that's better. That's definitely better. Okay, cool. And that worked out fantastically, except that we need to change the light here on his face to probably something like that. Nope. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And cool, there we go. Now we have a black character in the game. Ecstatic. Okay. And diversity. I mean, I just think it's weird. <laughs> I'm also like not making women, but just because I don't want to make their torsos. This guy's just real nice and we can make them all the same. Okay, so uh, there was a cool picture. I just searched like mage. Uh, so I've been taking inspiration just from a bunch of like different things. Let's see if I can find it. I doubt it, I'll be able to, but uh, I basically remember it. But it, it's helpful to like get some reference images um, so you can kind of see some cool ideas. I This is definitely cool, but I was definitely thinking more of like um, Skyrim, Skyrim, uh, is it Daedric Mages? Daedric Mage? No. Oh, but definitely, yeah, something like this, like a robe kind of like that. Um, yeah, we'll do something a little more like that. So that's that's looking good for me. I'm down for that. Okay, cool. So, how do I want to start this? I was thinking a hood, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go no hood. I think I'm gonna go no hood. Uh, and we're just gonna make the robe. So the first thing I'll do 
is make what I want to be the uh, inside of the robe. Hmm. I really wish I had that other picture I saw the other day because it was cool. Maybe that's what it was that I searched. No, I'm never I'm never gonna find this. That's fine. Okay. Just look at images of mages. Is it like wizard maybe? What did I search? Wizards, oh, that's the rock band name, was it? Okay. Okay. Anyway. Alright, we'll just go back to Mage. I'll just use these images. And, um, yeah, who knows? That's pretty cool. I, I'm thinking about the staff. I don't know if I want to add the staff or not. I'm trying to see. I don't sketch out, although I could. I'm not a bad drawer. That's freaking cool. Um,. It's just that, like, I don't really feel the need to, because uh, you can make stuff so easily using... Oh, uh, that's creepy. Interesting. Don't know what that notification is for. Okay. Um, that's my Discord. So I've got no viewers, that's great. I hate viewers, I hate that. So we're making the image don't need to do this. Um, okay, fine, I will be creative. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, just, I'll just be creative dude, okay. Creative dude guy. Oh, that's kind of cool actually, to have like a little collar popping up, but we'll see, we'll see what I do. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna start on this, I think, well, I haven't used, if we look at the other colors we've got here, I haven't really explored um, any of the kind of crazier tones here, like the purple. So I think I want to give him like a purple robe. Um, and then the undershirt, I think, will make red. So a purple robe with a red undershirt and I think like some kind of gold scarf type thing maybe. Uh, we will see. So I'm going to go ahead and take, grab his torso here. Okay, grab the torso. I'm gonna make it red, oops, red. Okay, and I'm gonna give him this nice outline there. Uh, really even that. Yeah, I like that one better. Okay, uh, and then so this is going to be that. And then what we can do here is make uh, what's going to be the robe. And so I think, I mean, it's kind of close, actually. Let's see. A lighthouse C. Hmm. This is pretty close to what I was thinking of originally, honestly. Dragon. Dragon mage. Nope. Nope. That is, that is not working out. Mage with mask, because he's wearing a crazy mask. No. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not gonna find it. Whatever. More guy. No, that's not what I'm going for either. That is definitely freaking sick, though. But anyway. Okay. So, um,. Yeah, let's just make the robe, no hood. We'll see about the hood, but anyway, okay. So, we'll start off, I think I'm actually just going to duplicate the curve on top, and then we'll go ahead and make it purple here. So I'll make it that color with that outline, looking good. Okay, and then we can grab our A tool here, and then I think what I'll do is actually, again, duplicate this and I'll hide one of these, and that way we can make both sides here. Um, and then I can put one like right here, delete these two, and then we've got that open, and then I'll do a little bit of that, that, okay, 
something like that. Um, that just didn't save me that much time. That's not going to do it. And then we want to see like so. We're assuming that his, so he's kind of the perspective is kind of looking forward. So we want this to be kind of the front area. So then when I make this one, and I'm going to do a lot more. This is just getting like kind of the basics out the way here. Do something like this. And then we'll move this one over here like this. And if we do that. not look particularly like a mage right now, but uh, I think that will change. Dude, all these mages are wearing much more interesting things. I think we also, we need to sell that there are multiple layers to this, and I think I want this to be much more open even though we are obviously trying to sell that. So that's gonna go like that. And then it looks like most of these start and then kind of curl outwards. Also, obviously they need to go longer. So we don't want this to necessarily go like this. Do that, we can reset those. Um, make that curl like that. And then, oh, so on that one, it's got that going shorter than that. AQ World, that was fun. It was a fun game. We played it. Obviously. That's interesting as well. The problem is that like nothing that's hanging is going to be anim anim animated, so I don't want to put too much into that, uh, uh, that boat. That's a cool look, too. Hmm. Nope. I want a symmetrical... I feel like it's a pretty common design when I'm thinking of my head. I just want to have like a professionally drawn thing to reference. No, no one's got it. Just a simple robe. All right. Okay. We'll use this guy as an example. Okay, see, this one, yeah, this. Okay, so the, the center is gonna be the longest part. For sure. So first, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and hide these feet because they're heinous. I, I basically just keep them there as placeholders, and then we'll keep, we'll take this down like that, um, and we'll have this kind of oopsies go like this a little bit, and then we'll kind of work with whatever we're feeling uh, later on. So we want this to probably go a little bit like that, uh, and then we can add a little bit. Anyway, so just a little bit of flow. I don't want to get too much into the actual details here, though, because that is not the point. The point of this stage is really just to kind of actually go a little something like this. Um, and then this can go like that. Yeah, that makes sense that it would, it would come out a little more. Something like this, and then it's really going like that. I guess that makes sense, that you would have it come like this, and then it comes out a little bit there. Get a little bit like that. Okay, so then this is the front, so that's good. That's about what we want there, okay? Um, and then, yeah, this is gonna be like that. That sells the perspective a little bit more. And then we'll go a little bit like that, and then maybe just move that out. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, what I probably need to do is actually kind of sell that there's uh, yeah, you know what I could do? I could either put the hood behind him, not make the hood, but the, right now he certainly doesn't look very mage-like. But I am gonna go ahead and coat the arms real quick, uh, doing the same thing. So we'll set this to be this color, that is that color. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for the arm here. Okay, cool. The arms are gonna be symmetrical, so you can actually just copy and paste them. But, um, so hopefully now he's starting to look, he's not starting to look maybe like, maybe I should give him a beard first. Sometimes they get working on the, the head first. I do want him to appear older. So, oh, you know what I have is, I made, uh, not storage documents, get a code. Mecca, art, where is father? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So I'm gonna steal, because I remember it was actually harder than I thought to make these uh, forehead lines. So I'm just gonna steal those wrinkles. And, ooh, I like, I like that look. So I'll definitely do that with the hair. Okay, um, and then we'll go ahead and just paste these wrinkles right in here. And then we can put them on his head like this. Very nice. Uh, and then, of course, we would make those the same color as uh, the outline. Just like that. Oh, wait, no, that's not the color of the outline. This should be the color of the outline. Well, that doesn't look like the color of the outline. Oh, it's because they're not selected. Okay, cool. Anyway, so there's his wrinkles. to like, start to make him look a little older. Um, and then I'm, I do definitely want to give him a, a nice little beard. Uh, and then we'll get into some more of the actual detailing stuff so yeah the cool thing I saw online which we'll see if I can actually find I, I, I'll never find it but uh, was he had like a gold kind of like scarf or chain thing so I want to make that real quick and that should be pretty easy to do actually um, we're gonna make these follow this almost exactly so I'm just gonna grab some rectangles here let's go in here, why is that not, what is this? Oh, so that's, okay. Let's go ahead and put all that into a group. Okay, and then put this, this is gonna be the jacket in one group. And then right here, we'll go ahead and put these. So it's gonna be something like this. And we've got this nice yellow color here for that. And then we're gonna make the outside of that uh, a white. No. Uh, the way around. We want this to be white and this to be that yellow. So then hopefully it's kind of got like a gold. Like, yo, what's up, Dev Nugget? How's it going, man? Oh, have you already left? Yeah, yes, you have. But hey. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so this is going to try and mimic that curve considerably. Um, I'm going to be a little bit thicker up here. And then um, we'll make these. Um, a little bit like this. Okay, something like that. And then I'll bring that out a little bit. Okay, and then obviously we want this to come in like that a little bit. All right, and then so from behind, we've got a kind of like that looking structure, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll copy it, uh, transform, flip horizontal, then we'll move it over here, and then I'll adjust it like this, make it a little bit smaller, because the idea is that this is supposedly coming from, uh, like that, that it's supposed to be a little farther back, so we'll maybe just move it up a little bit. We also, I think I need to do a little bit of that, and bring this. Dude, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they, they do have a trial, but I um, I think I might have, yeah, I tried it and just pulled trade real quick. It's super easy to use. Um, I don't think that many people use it for this type of stuff, but uh, I think it's I think it's epic. So, and it's, it's, so I got it for 25 bucks. It's usually 50 bucks, but it goes on sale all the time. I, I just love it, I think it's great. Now, I haven't tried Krita or anything like that, so I, you know, I don't really have too much of a frame of reference to really compare it with, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's great. I love it, so that's what needs to happen like that. So we need to give it more of the, maybe even a little lower. There we go. Okay, I think. Perspective is hard. Perspective, I think, is like the hardest part of art, at least for me, is like figuring out where the hell things are supposed to go exactly. Okay. I think that looks like that's farther back um, hopefully once we add some more details and stuff, it will even more so. Um, and then maybe we'll give him like a pendant or something at some point. But for right now, he's got a red shirt uh, with a gold scarf and then a purple uh, kind of coat or hood. And then I'm not going to work on his feet too much right now, but just to give you, you know, a little bit. There's, there's, they're not going to look good. They'll definitely look better than that. But anyway, 
Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the head. I want to add some more detail. Uh, I think I'm going to make him bald, but I'm going to give him a sick beard. Um, yeah. So he's going to have white hair, like starkly white hair. And look at that. Santa beard. So that's right. Let's do even vector images. And then we can kind of, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to take, this is like more what I'm thinking, is a kind of bunchy, bundly beard, not like very raggedy. Although that is definitely cool. I, I definitely, this is the one I have in my head. Um, yeah. Let's, let's check that one out. Um, and then you know what? I think I am actually going to also take the mustache from here, because I like this mustache. <laughs> this is, oh yeah, on, on him, I got rid of the beard, which I thought was, I mean the mouth, and just gave him the mustache. So, actually, yeah, let's let's take the whole friggin' thing. Why not? Okay, let's go right here. And put that in here. Paste the... Okay, and we'll line those up. Those not, no, we'll line that. Snap is on, but it's not really snapping. Anyway. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, okay, and so then I'm gonna go ahead and delete his eyes there, and then we're gonna change this because I don't want the hair to be that color. I want it to be white, so uh, we'll change it to like that uh, with a full white. Um, no, I think, I think I want it to be full white. This, we'll group those eyes together. I think I want it to be full white, and then the the background here will actually be a dark, yeah, that's that looks best. I want it to be a nice crisp thing like that, so that and that. Okay, that's the correct way, right? There we go, okay, cool. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and now make the beard underneath. So it looks like it's actually, it starts underneath the mustache. Um, for my case, I am going to do something a little more like this where I'm not actually going to have there be any opening for the mouth. I'm just going to have it go all the way around. Um, yeah. So what I actually think I'm going to do here is just take a bunch of circles and just kind of shove them together. So this should be... Well, here, let's see. What do we have the stroke on these ones? That's a point two. Yeah, that's not great. The problem with that is that you nothing that's smaller than one shows up a bunch. Those can't be point two. Oh, that's okay. Let's click on these. Okay, those are point four. Let's actually make these point five. And then we'll go to this group. I'll make these uh point four maybe. That's pretty thick. But I'm okay with that. I like that. Nice defined features. Okay, so anyway, what we're gonna do. Nope, wrong tool going to just basically grab a bunch of per circles and put them together to make a, the outside of the beard here. Um, in fact, you know what I'll do first before I do that though, is I'll make like an outline shape. So go here, um, and then so the beard will kind of go, well here we'll do this, and then like this. That doesn't really matter. And the point is that the reason I'm doing this is so that I can see like, oh, here's how I want the beard to, like the general shape of the beard to look. Um, and then we can go a little bit like that. This one's going to be going much more like that. Probably about that long. And I don't want it to be sharp like that. That's just the consequence of doing it that way. Okay. Like this. Like this. I do want it to like have an apex there. Let's fill that. Uh, literally anything, but white will do. Oh, I don't want this to be. Well, first off, let's do that. And then this can cannot be inside the curve anymore. Put that here. I mean, realistically, this doesn't need to be inside the curve either, so I'm going to put that outside. So that way we can keep all this together. The, the eyes should be, although that doesn't really matter either. But uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, cool. So, frozen well. Yo, Ennis, what's going on, man? 
Yeah, I did start school. That's why I haven't been posting. I actually was supposed to have an exam today, but it got canceled because of New York's flooding. Um, so I was like, I'll do this. I've been making art because it's nice and like stress relieving, but a little bit of programming here and there. Med school is definitely, I mean, it's, it's not as bad, I think, as most people say, but it's not easy. Okay, so I'm actually liking this beard. I'm, again, we're gonna add the actual, um, should be a little more, yeah, I feel like. So I wanted to kind of, There we go, because that kind of imbues a sense of direction that I actually don't think the mustache does, which uh, I'm gonna hopefully fix that a little bit just by doing this. Not that much. There we go. Okay, and then... Okay, and then I think that conveys a little more sense of direction, like he's really looking this way, so that's cool. And then what we'll do here is just take a bunch of circles and uh, kind of get those go out like that. I kind of want these to go on top though. Group, and then essentially what I'm gonna do is just make a bunch of circles and then we're gonna merge them all together uh, at the end here. We'll do something like this. These aren't all perfect circles. These are, but um, I would like to get one where they're not. See so how they did that. Perfect circles looks pretty good though. I got. I will say. I will definitely I'll admit that. All right. So I guess we'll do perfect circles. Um, we could do different sizes of perfect circles though. So that that's something for sure. I mean, maybe. Maybe we should put this underneath this, and we can just see a little more of what the outline is going to look like. And then we can, with this one, actually just get rid of the stroke. All right, good. That's a little closer to what this is actually going to look like, because so that's going to help us figure out if we're doing this correctly. Okay, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And then we can duplicate this one. Um, thanks, man. I Hopefully I'll be able to be a little more active... Um, just like literally this weekend and then it's probably back to the churn after that because i've got an exam tomorrow but uh the way i study makes it so that i'm not super anxious about it i've got quite a wide bit of um, confidence going into it which is nice i think i want that to be larger but yeah i mean i've already i i have been doing some programming in the free time i just like i don't know why i get anxious about actually streaming because it feels like i'm like committing to something i guess and uh, I like don't want to do it and like like half-ass it. I guess would be a good way to think about it, or at least the way I think about it. Okay, nice. This is actually looking surprisingly good for the beard. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how that's looking. It's it's pretty amazing this software how it makes you feel like you're so good at art, uh, even if you're not, like me. This one a little bigger as well. Bring that one nice and uh, that one will be nice and close. Um, and then another one here. This one will be notably smaller. We'll go right here at the apex, um, which is good. Maybe it'll make it a tiny bit bigger. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, feel that. Not too shabby. What's this one? Let's bring that all the way to the front there. I mean, I guess not all the way to the front. Doesn't particularly matter. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice, nice looking, that's a nice looking beard, though. Okay, and then, so what I'm gonna do here is grab all these circles and then merge them together like that into one cohesive shape. And then what I'm gonna do is copy that and then just transform it and flip it. 
this side. Let's take it over here. Um, and then, I mean, there's quite a few things we can do to make this look a little more unique. One of them being this. be able to get rid of this one just to see what the outline of that beard looks like. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll make this just a little bit smaller here so we know it's not going to grab any of the edges. And then we can grab all of these guys and merge them together into our one large beard. I think that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Except, actually, Realize I would, I think, like to bring this in a little bit. So it just looks a little bit. There we go. Do this. Beautiful. Okay. And now we merge them. I think that looks pretty good. I think I would probably again grab the whole thing and just give it a little bit of a, not that, the whole thing, but the, this one, give it a little bit of a cut like that. We can get rid of this group here. All right. <laughs> Frozen Well, yeah, man, I think it's a great program. I really love it. I, I actually never use Adobe Illustrator, but I use Photoshop for forever. And uh, I just think this is like such an intuitive program. I really, really like it. Um, how is it different? So this is more like Adobe Illustrator than Photoshop, I guess. It's more, it's like a vector design software. It's made for making graphics, whereas Photoshop isn't really made for making graphics. It's more made for um, like actually editing photos. And then it's got uh, components that allow you to do that, that they've kind of like built on because people, they have an audience that does that stuff. So they've like added some things like that. You can do some animations, but uh, you know, it, it is kind of limited in that regard. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know how it's tremendously different. I just like, it's cheaper. The, the main thing is that this is $50 for about, for life, right? I'm actually gonna turn on my fan. Let me know if this is too loud. Um, it's $50 for life, or I mean, I got it for 25 bucks, it was on sale. Whereas Photoshop is $10 a month at the cheapest level. Um, so $120 a year. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of benefits. It is an open, I don't think it's open source, but it's like a, it's a cool little thing. Okay, so I wanna, I don't know if I wanna start adding all the details yet. I don't think I want to add hair. That would be funny if you had hair. But I think no hair is definitely the way to go. Uh, I don't know if I wanna add like some more wrinkles and detail and stuff like that. I'll definitely add some lighting. Oh, also this should not be light. This should be shadow. Okay, so I used this color for the skin tone. No, I use this color. I don't even know. Anyway, so that's good because we want that to be shaded right there. Uh, and then we're gonna, I should actually have that come up all the way. So we'll use this, bring that up like right. Okay, I'll just do this. Make another pen tool right there. And then we'll have this kind of come in like that. Like that. I'm actually going to take this off. It's going to, it just helps me. Okay, and then we're going to pull that down like that. Move this over a little bit. And then we're going to do this a little bit. Because typically, I like to, when I make these shadows, just kind of go like this. And then we can actually just change the thickness of this to two, and then that makes the shadow thicker, or uh, more or less thicker. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And then, okay, the other thing I want to do here is, we'll add some points here, and then I can just pull this over here like this, and then that adds the shadow of the ear, which is very nice. 
Dorian Pietro. This guy from my med school. <sighs> okay. But yeah, I, I would say the, the main plus of this. I think it's much better for designing graphics and stuff like this. I mean, I think it's easier, faster, it looks better, but the, the main plus for me was that it was much cheaper. And Photoshop has this thing where you can't like save over files right now, and they just like don't care about fixing it. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck you too then. Um, yeah, I don't know if I should add detail yet. I typically, before, I shouldn't even add the shadow. I typically try to add a basic um, thing to everything. Here I actually went much simpler in the style. This is for, uh, this is actually not for this game. Maybe I could repurpose it, that'd be funny. This was for Mecha, which was a game I was trying to make. Um, but it would be a huge project and just stuff that I cannot do during medical school. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the really thick outlines though that I have on, on these characters. So uh, that may be, I'll do that with a shader, uh, but definitely not. Okay, so. A few things I actually have to do, um, because I realize I'm forgetting, is that you wanna, so you can do the pressure gradient here, and so I'll save this profile, and then what you can do is apply that to other things. So I'll go, for instance, to the beard here, I'm gonna grab all this stuff, and then I'm gonna apply that all to the stroke here. So I'm gonna press this here, uh, and then we can actually make this probably a little thicker. So make it like 0.6. Yep, cool. Except I do think on the eyebrows it needs to be a little, um, so we'll make this to 25. And then what I typically do is I make a super random variation and then a uh, notably less random variation of the thing. Uh, so it still adds a little bit of character. I'll click Save Profiles. Um, but it's better for the shorter ones like that. Um, yeah. And it just makes it look, it adds like a hand-drawn feel to the whole thing. And it's like that easy to do. That's something I actually don't think you can do in Photoshop. I mean, maybe you can. I just never learned how to do that in Photoshop. So same things for these ones. I'm gonna make this one, and then we're going to add the random pressure gradient here. Uh, in fact, I will make that a little thinner. Let's do 0 0.8. Okay, beautiful. So those, that's gonna be his like gold scarf slash chain. We'll see, see what that comes out to be. And then I'll make a gold, I'll, I'll make a gold pendant maybe with like a green uh, facet, uh, like gem in the center. Okay, uh, now for shoes, what kind of shoes does a mage wear? Let's see. So we've got these, which is kind of what I was thinking, just like very basic, flat kind of uh, strider shoes. Um, sandals is one option. I don't think I want to do like boots. I do think I want to do just very flat footed, pointy sandals, like kind of like these. Those are boots though. AQ Worlds, they don't really, those are also boots. Kind of like, even though those are too boot-like. I think the first guy had it right. Um, very simple kind of baggy cloth striders. Like just cloth is basically what I want these things. Simple, stuff like that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I know that this is about the size of the foot. This is a little too big, honestly, but uh, then what I can do is just change this to reflect whatever I want the shoes to be. So in this case, I think, oh, it's gonna be hard because his skin tone is uh, gonna be... Harpuya, what's going on, man? You've been very active and I appreciate it. You're a great member of the community, good sir. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm trying to make leather shoes. Let's go file, open recent. Let me open up, uh, I guess drunkard. Because I want to copy the colors I used for his shoes. Uh, I'm trying to keep like things consistent. So what is leather should stay leather, essentially. Um, but I'm concerned that that is the skin color I used here. And I think it might be. <laughs> so we'll see. It looks like it's that one. And uh, yeah, that's the skin color I used. Whoops. It could be problematic, potentially. Uh, but this is that. Oh, is it? Why is this not on the map? Oh, it is. Okay, it's right here. So that's that purple. So maybe that sells it more as like leather. Let's let's see. If I change this to this purple color here, uh, 
uh, and then obviously you need to make this one and then change it to a random variation there get some character that could definitely just be his skin tone okay so that presents a challenge i can make him less dark <laughs> and, and skin tone um i would hate to google black men wearing leather boots just to see <laughs> what the uh, like black skin versus leather looks like i would imagine let's let's try it out let's try it out. what happens if i make this a little less dark here oh no i want to go to like this for instance nope oh it should be that okay cool so here's that color Dalek doesn't even look black to me you know what i mean okay we're, we're gonna stick with that it looks like it definitely you can tell that this guy is a um african or uh Jamaican descent, or whatever countries exist. Green shoes are riot. Okay, that's an idea for sure because that would solve this problem. Although I, I won't lie, the idea of green shoes is kind of not not my style. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe first let's get the shape down. I need to stop worrying about color right now. Let's get the shape down first. So. Uh, I definitely want these to be a little bit smaller than these ones because they just look so massive. Um, and then we'll do a little bit like this. Like, okay, something like that. Um, oh, actually, for uh, it doesn't matter for this purpose, but the, they are all going to be in the same like, place on the, the actual thing. But okay. So I'm going to change this shape. Let me delete that. So now I've got a real flat foot like that. I'm gonna do this, uh, and then, well, here, this is gonna fuck that up, but uh, a little longer here. Do like this, and then I'm gonna delete this, um, and we'll bring this one like, into that, and we'll bring this one down. And, oh, that's why. Okay. Yep, and there you go, there's the shoe. Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna rip that. That actually seems like a pretty good idea. So this is gonna have a slight curve to it like that. And then we'll have uh, another curve like this that goes up uh, to something else like that. Um, and then we'll have, this is actually very similar to the drunkard's shoes. So maybe I should take his shoes and just use them as a starting point. Except these are going to be much more flat-footed, but this is pretty similar. But nah, I'll just start from scratch. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we want those to be relatively sharp. Maybe I'll give them. Ah, uh, you know what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bunch of like gold embossing around the sides and stuff, or or green. You know, we'll try it out. Do some colors. Maybe I'll put some gems on the toes or something like that. But uh, yeah. So, and then definitely want this to come out a little more as the shape. I'm gonna bring this down. There's no need for that angle to be quite so steep. Um, it's starting to look like a decent shape there to me. Let's bring this a little more like that. And then I would not, I would like this to be like this. Short, and then it comes out like that. So that way it looks like that the ball of the foot really has the most depth, kind of like that. And then so maybe I'll bring this down a little bit like that. Okay. No problem. I mean, yeah, that looks pointy enough to me. Okay. We'll start with that. Okay. And then I'll do a little something like this. And then we'll make that into a straight one so that way I can do this. So yeah, we just want this to kind of look like it's it's saggy, more cloth-like material. Okay. And then this can come out a little bit like that as well. And then we'll start adding some detail that should really sell this as a boot. But, uh, I do think that is looking good. Okay. So now, click on the boot here. And I'm going to add a few textures. We'll go like this. I guess I want this to kind of actually come up. So we'll go like this, and then this is when we 
you want to switch over to the less random one. Potentially even just get rid of that randomness, but we'll see. I might, I might do something like that. Uh, and then what I'll do is bring this one down so it like kind of comes in like that. Okay. And then we want this to kind of imply that uh, it's like coming from that angle. So like something like that. And then put that kind of like that. And I think the whole sizes can be reduced a tiny bit like that. I do think I'm gonna get rid of the randomness and then just do, and then we'll pull this down to something like that. And then this, this needs to fit in there, so something like that, okay. And then what we're also gonna do is put this inside so it's masked behind, and then we can do something like, like this, which should help. There we go, okay, that looks pretty good. That's adding like that detail there. Very nice, okay. Um, and then, let's he do it. His comes across like that, so I like that as well. I was planning on doing that. That's nice. So then we'll do that, we'll click in here, something like this, something like maybe here, okay? And then we'll add a little bit of bend to that, like that. Oh yeah, I think, I think you can tell that's a shoe now. Hell yeah. Cool, okay. Um, and then, I guess this should probably be less so than, and then this one can be a little more like that. Okay. Walkie dookie in. And then these ones should be, I guess, coming in like that a little bit. <laughs> oh, I did not know that, Haru or Harpuya. That is freaking sick. Um, no, hold on, I gotta try that out. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna animate it. Well, I actually do that. Whoa, that's dope. That's cool, because I know exactly how that's working. That's interesting. That's why, so if you use it, it asks you like, does it, is it okay if it records your screen? And I'm like, why is it recording my screen? It's because that's the way this works. It's not actually picking the program, it's recording your whole screen. So that's cool, very good to know. Thank you, Harpoya. But, okay, so what's the, oh yeah, so how am I gonna animate this? Let me go ahead and open this. So this is a game where I've, I've done basically that. Uh, uh oh. That, that's weird. Is it not there? That is weird. That's probably like a... That's, huh. Well, that kind of sucks. But that's okay. We'll go to... Oh, that's... No, none of this game's gonna work. Except we can go to main character. Okay, so here he is. And then I can go to... Animation tree layer, and then me said it is active. I forgot how to do that though. No, here's what you do. Okay. Um, let's see. Can we get rid of all these boxes? Alright, there you are. Make you invisible. Okay, so. Here's an example, so it's, it's a skeleton, I'll show you a little more on uh, how I do this. Okay, so there's like his idle animation, just kind of like hanging out, doing stuff like that. You can see it actually looks like pretty good. Um, and then we go, so I'm using the in-house in animation player and animation tree nodes to deal with this. Uh, it'll become much more complicated than just one thing, but for right now we've got that. Um, so I'll start by this. So for one thing, everything's separated into parts, right? For instance, we've got like back foot. Uh, we've got this one image where it is bones, like this. Um, a very simple image, right? Uh, and then, oh wait, I just fucked up though. There we go. Um, and so uh, it's going to just crop these. And so the nice thing about this is like, I actually have like a, uh, character. Base character adult. 
So, for instance, because all you have to do is drag and drop, uh, I made this. This is a tool script type thing. Um, so actually, for one thing, I made a dialogue plugin. But the other thing is that you can just drag and drop a... Uh, uh, and right here, so I made this property called texture. If you drag and drop a texture, it automatically assigns it to all these. So this is because they're all the same uh, size. Uh, and then optionally, like here I have his... I know, yeah, here I have the, the eyelids. So the eyelids go ahead and they cover up the uh, the eyes, and that's how we do the blinking animation and stuff like that. So yeah, that, that's how you do it. I do it all inside Godot. It's really not... I, I really like their animation system. So here's, for instance, the blink animation. We can go to... Okay, let me turn the animation tree off. So I can show you some of the other ones. So we'll go to, like... So I've got a walk animation. Play this one. Um... Oh yeah, and then based upon your uh, your movement speed, he'll he'll either go faster or slower, and it, it just works just fine. So we go like two here. And so yeah, I mean I think it, it's pretty simple. It's Paper Mario style. Um, it's definitely where I got a lot of the inspiration. But yeah, anyway. Okay, so don't save anything I did because I don't know what I did. But anyway, okay, so cool. Here's a shoe. I do think yeah, we need this to come out. This comes out a little less. We'll bring this back a little further, and then we'll bring this out more like, like that. Okay. Anything we could bring this one in a little bit. This looks like too sharp. Okay, that looks better. And then now, once we add the creases, I think that'll look a lot better. So, and then again, a little something like this, go just like this, like, I don't think that we need to go too much in the back, but, but nice, okay, we'll go like that, okay, and then another one here, like this, and then this one's going to go just a little more, uh, a little less sharply. I don't know why, but I don't like that second one quite so much. Maybe because this should be the other one? Let's see. That, 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 nope, that's not correct. Um, maybe it just needs to be smaller? Hmm. I think for my case, I'm going to actually just delete this. And then just leave it like that. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I'm gonna stick with that. Although maybe part of the problem is that this is not sharp enough. Because it doesn't quite look. Wait, let's do this. And then we can do this. So I want it to look like it's like kind of a, a slab hanging off type thing. Yeah, actually that's better because then it kind of looks like it's a uh, kind of like top to it, to the strider. Godot does have a built-in bone system, but I prefer to do it without the bone system because I think it's like needlessly complex. So. Um, the way I did it was to just change the pivot offsets of parts, uh, and then that's that's essentially bones, right? So they'll move the way you expect them to move, um, and, and stuff like that. And once you get it all set up the first time, uh, right, if you make, like I did, like I made a base class for that, and then I can add it to anything, then animations are really, really easy to, to work with. Um, but anyway, okay, so. So the question is, do I want this like this, or do I want this to connect and be like kind of a top? I think I am gonna go that route. So I'm gonna change this. I'm going to get rid of this, and then I'll grab this one, then have this kind of connect over there like that. And then uh, this should probably bend in a little more like that there. Nice. Okay. And then I think I would need to change this back to like moderately random. Again, something like that. But. Maybe this needs to be a little bit thicker. Okay. Let's see how that looks. 
I think you can tell what that is. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna roll with that. That's cool. Okie doke. There's the basic shoe. Um, I think I'm gonna add the shading to the shoe and stuff right now because it should be, well, maybe I'll add the gold. So I like this idea of having some gold there because it does kind of differentiate those shoes, make them look a little special. Um, maybe I will add a little less of a, just kind of a little, I want it to be sharper but not indented. That might look worse. I don't know, that's one thing I hate about the Finny Designer is that I always accidentally rotate stuff. I think it still needs to be that, but just less so. Okay, that looks good. Um, yeah. I mean, we could do well, something like this. It could come out like there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we're going with that. Now. Did you see Kavanaugh Godot, Gam Godot Jam this weekend? No, what's Kavanaugh Godot Jam? Is that a YouTuber? I don't know. Maybe I Google. Stop waiting for Godot. <laughs> uh, oh, I get it. Because it was named after the play, Waiting for Godot. Wait, what? Okay. So I'm game designer Terry Kavanaugh. I made Dicey Dungeons. Oh, it's, it's about to start. Whoa, interesting. Very cool. Uh, I can't make it this weekend. Sorry, that sucks, but <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, very cool. Um, very strong, your first game tutorial. Oh, interesting. I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Heartbeat stuff for your first game. Anyway, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's really dope. I'm glad there's more jams getting into that. I don't know if I ever like talked to you guys about this, but when I hosted the Go Godot Jam with those dudes, we got a lot of flack from people because they're like, you're taking away from the Godot Wild Jam, blah, blah, blah. I totally disagree. I think there should be as many Godot Jams as possible. I personally don't participate in the Godot Wild Jams because I, I don't think they, they, I think it's because they have them so often, the themes are like not very good anymore. Because like, I don't know how you come up with a theme that often that's good. Um, and uh, so that's why I don't like them that much to participate in them. Um, and so people are really hating on us for doing that. I actually think I'm just going to get rid of the randomness <laughs> in the, uh, in the boot top here. Just take that and change it to, uh, reset it. And then maybe I will put this side. Just go like that. Just in case. Oh, no, nope, other side. Now it's going to be a little bit there. Okay, cool. That looks good. And then from far away, you'll never be able to tell, especially once it renders. Okay, very, very nice. Hmm. So now the question is, do I want to, like, bedazzle it up and give it some, like, gold lacing and stuff? I think I'm going to. So, um, again, I'm going to go into the shoe like this, and then I'm going to go like this, come to the front here, and then come up like this. Okay, and then... I'll change this to be the gold color for my game. And then we'll do a little bit like this, a little bit like that. Okay, and we'll do the same thing right here. Although I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that this is like gold lace and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think you can. I think you can tell it's gold lace, hopefully. You guys let me know. <laughs> um, okay, a little bit like that. Okay, and then I want to do like one or more. I'd love to go back to what they did here. Oh no, you know what I'm gonna do is actually have this from right here. So we'll grab this P and then I'll have that connect here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, why is it? It's weird. Oh, that's fine, okay. So we'll go back to minor bit of randomness there. And then we'll have this kind of go a little something like this. There we go. Now you'll see what the, now you'll be able to tell what this is. In fact, I think I'm actually going to put this outside the shoe curve because I want this to kind of look like it's on the outside there. Okay, cool. And then what we'll do is fill it again with, with that. Uh, and then what we can do is do this, 
do is put a bit of that on there. And we can just make this notably smaller, like maybe a point two. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom, we've got some gold, gold tips on the shoes. Although that does not look as good as I had originally thought. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well maybe maybe I just get rid of the fill. And then make this just that gold. And then undo everything I just did. And make this uh, one. Nope. Should be four kind of maybe. Um, make it point eight again. Um, what the fuck is going on? Hmm. Okay. I think that looks all right. I mean, there's things I want to do to fix that, obviously, but... Uh, let's do gold lace on shoes. Uh, leather. So, yeah. This is what I was kind of thinking of, is like all this kind of, that kind of design with a bunch of curls and stuff, but that's just not gonna show up on render. So I've gotta like think about that, which is always a design thing. Cause we're not, you know, exporting these at uh, a million pixels. They're gonna be pretty large, honestly, but still. Um, so that's something you gotta think about. These definitely have a lot more curves to them. But I really do, This is, I mean, this inspired that idea. I was just trying to get some like basic shapes down, but uh, I actually really like that lace idea they've got going on here. Um, so you wouldn't be able to see... Let's just, let's, let's just try and take this a little more like this. Right, so like something like that. Okay, and then I'll fill it again. That. Doesn't look... That might look like it's trying to be... About. Okay, what if we actually take the whole thing and make it go? Oh, we can do this. I can move this to be right there. No, oh, no, that's not what we want though. This to be close to right there, but not right there. This is the one we want to now come down a little bit. Except it definitely does just look like lighting. So maybe after I add the lighting, you'll be able to tell. Perhaps simplify the fancy scroll work into something more like Aries Zodiac symbol. Aries Zodiac symbol. I started using Godot almost two years ago now. It's kind of crazy. Um, oh. oh, like that. That is actually very good. But just like put that here, I don't even know if that would show up. Okay, let's, I mean, let's make it real quick. That should take only 10 seconds. And then I'll change this to reset. Okay, I'm gonna go a little something like that. Put this one to go straight up. We can go like that, and then like this, and then like that. Cool. Okay. And J, B, transform, flip horizontal. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Okay. 
Okay. You will see me do that very often. Okay, cool. Um, now for both of these, let's go to the pen tool. And then I'm going to change this because why this is the one, one another complaint I have okay very nice okay okay that looks better and then Okay, pop that in here. Oh my, oopsies. And then let's see, so one option. Uh, oh, I mean, you could just put it something like that at the heel. That could look kind of cool. Maybe on the front there. Or you could do what I think you were talking about and what I originally thought. I'm actually just gonna read this curve. I don't care about it. Is put it like right here, having it start kind of like right there. It's not bad, eh? Alright. Alright, I think you got something there, dude. Yeah, that's that's looking real good. That is looking real good. Like that. Okay, cool. And then what I'll do. Something that's really annoying is you can't uh, merge lines. Uh, which has always I found to be pretty annoying. So I want to do that, okay? And then I want this to. Oh no, I don't want it to. I want it to stop there. Well, now I fucked it up, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, and uh, people will be able to tell. I think we can do this. So I want to add a little more space on that side, and then you can really tell that that's what that's supposed to be there. All right, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. Okay, that should be good enough. Uh, it's been a w way too much time on this guy's shoes. Yeah, I don't know, C Sharp, GD script is just, it makes so much sense. It's like Python and Python revolutionized like the world because it, it just makes sense, so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is actually just work on the shading and highlighting of the shoe, which is actually, I really enjoy because it kind of just, everything just starts to come together here. Um, so I'm gonna group these, I'm a big group gay. Okay, in fact, for this, I'm just gonna take this one, duplicate it, okay? This will be a group where I make all the shadows. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and then we want to, make it the color that will be the shadow, which I think is this one. Nope, it is this one. It? Yep, it's that one. I remember I didn't love, oh, this needs to be below. Love the shadowing color that I used for this, but I don't think I really had a choice. Yeah, it was that color. The idea is that the light source is going to be coming from like over this direction so i think that works pretty well you can tell that and it just kind of adds some depth there okay and then i actually think i'm just going to take this um and then i should be able to do this without any uh, no, it's okay, i'll do that and then now we can This is gonna come right here. Okay, let me bring this back just the teeny bit. There we go. Okay. Um, I'll let go like that. There we go. Okay, cool. And then this will come there like so. That looks pretty good. And then 
I don't think I'm gonna have it actually go underneath, but there you can see that now I've added a little bit of shading and shadow, uh, and then I'll just take a little more right her. It's like amazing, like you just put a line, you know, behind this thing and then it looks magical. Like it just looks like you, you really know what you're doing. And that's, that's shading in a nutshell. Beautiful and nice. Okay, cool. And then from far away, you've got some nice shaded the booties. Okay, now we're gonna do some highlighting on the top. Um, let's go chat fire. Green and gold, just saying. Sick boots though, I'd wear them. Uh, maybe it looks better if you make the shadow color more transparent. Um, I mean, the thing is, so because for one thing, we're going for a very uh, cartoony look, right? That's kind of what I'm into. Second thing is that when it renders, like we can actually do this. See what it's gonna look like when it's rendered. Like a lot of that quality, especially you're gonna be seeing, they're gonna be about that big, probably, when you see them in game. So you have to see, think about what detail, and I think the sharpness actually, the sharpness kind of adds to that a little better. So I think it's a good color. Um, but that, that's the other thing is like, cheat, it's kind of cheating just to make things transparent. The idea is with using a color palette is that you stick to the palette and then you can use the different um, colors for shading. And it works really well in some areas like this. That looks like a great color for a shadow, but uh, you know, not quite as much there, but you know, depends on your take. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the, I'll do make that all one group okay and I'll put this right here and then we're gonna take this like this and go here and then there and then there okay cool and I'll make this this color was it that color that seems very light no that was the color okay cool and then again we'll do a little bit like that a little bit like that and then a little bit like this. Okay. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, that looks pretty good. Might make that one though. Okay, that looking good, looking good. Now, so that's underneath this. So what I'd like to do, it's totally unnecessary to do. So I'll go ahead and go layer, um, expand stroke. Okay, and then I'll convert these guys into something like that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take this, copy, paste it on top, um, and then I'll mask it underneath so it's only there. And then we'll change the color of this to like something like that. Um, yeah, there's the there's the highlight of that. Again, probably not that necessary, but it's easy enough to do. And there we go. There's our there's our boot. Pretty much done. I'm not gonna add any like wear and tear because that stuff is definitely gonna be lost, um, lost in the uh, in the render. But okay. So and then let's make this boot visible. He's gonna have one foot way bigger than the other. Just kidding. It's a joke. Relax. Okay. That looks good. And then delete this ugly thing. And uh, that does not look good. All right, and there are his boots. In fact, I'm actually kind of wondering if maybe I'll change the color of those boots to be a, like a lighter tan color, like I did kind of for his hat here. Um, Cause that, maybe that'll work better, but uh, we'll see. I, I think I'll get to that later. I think for right now, I'm gonna leave them as they are and uh, this is all fine. Everything is fine. Um, oh, thanks, thanks for hanging out, Dev Nugget. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't see that. He's probably already out yet, but uh, yeah. All right, um, let's see. What do I want to do next? I think we'll go do a little more detail on the coat here. I don't know if I'm gonna add like a bunch of weird designs to the coat. Maybe I will. I'd actually, looking at it, I think it needs it. But uh, what I'm gonna do first is uh, do what I had planned to do for these scars, which is to add just a bunch of different, of little like, um, 
go like this. Go like something like that. Okay. V should go like right here. So we'll put this in. That's the right scarf. Go like that. And then I want this to match that uh, color there. Oh, that's why. Okay. Like this. Like that. Okay. And then I'll take this to we'll go back to the the randomness. I'll make this to 0.8. It's a little smaller. Okay. And then we'll start copying and pasting it. Usually it does that a little better, but it's not doing that for me today. Okay. Okay, so something like that. And that's just gonna add just a teensy bit more detail to those. In fact, I might make those a little darker of a color because they were supposed to be kind of like indented, so. Do you like that? No, that doesn't look good though. Is it, is it a problem? Definitely not that. Maybe if I made them much thinner, that would work. And now you can't even see, so I prefer the white. We'll just stick with that one. Well, not, not that, but. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, cool, looks good. Um, and then. Uh, I think I'm just gonna actually copy and paste those right over to these ones. B transform Y form flip horizontal. Put that right in here. Okay, and then we can go into that group. No, yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So there's his like scarf type thing done. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to add some layers here. Those are boots. Oh, you're talking about. <laughs> See, that's why I need to like pay better attention to the channel. But yeah, okay. Those look like nice boots. Uh, you know, I feel like I, I'm obligated to put something green in there now that nostalgic link has been so um, uh, persistent. Or enthusiastic was the word I was I was looking for there. Maybe I'll give him like a little like gold like patch on the shoulders too. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything up here though. I'm not. Maybe I'll go for a hat. I think it would look cooler without the hat. I just kind of like made his freaking jacket sick as hell. He ain't got no hat. He he don't need no hat. You know what I mean? He looks cool as hell. Ah, I'm gonna do that though. I'm gonna add some gold detailing around the edge for sure. So what I'll do for that is just make a copy um, and then I will make this invisible and I'll make this the gold color. And then I'll go ahead and make sure that it is the most random again. And I'll make the size like uh, 0.7, okay? Um, and then I should just be able to go like this a little bit. go a little bit of gold panel because I think I think that's a little too thick so let me uh what was it would that look better like that no that does not look better oh maybe it does it doesn't look quite so dramatic which is kind of good yeah because I don't I don't know how dramatic do I want it I mm, mm, ah, mm, what do you guys think <laughs> You're getting me this now, just like, I'm like, I, you know, I'm really seriously reading your comment, like, oh, what's he trying to say, and then, <laughs> crack the me up, dude. 
Oh, gotta work on my posture. I got this sick, my friend gave me this chair. I think it's like a $120 chair. And he just like didn't want it anymore because he got a brand new like fucking $500 chair that's amazing. Um, but it's this thing is still way better than my $30 Amazon chair. And it's, oh, the lumbar support. It's so good. So I actually, I do think that this is what I'm going to go with for the that kind of gold color. So I think you can tell, like, that definitely looks gold, but then it just doesn't look as remarkable as these, which I think is good. Uh, potentially, the question is, do I want that to be that light, or do I not? Right, so do I want all of these as well as this? So we go here and make these something like that. No, is that what they are? Nah, because then you can't even tell. Yeah, okay, so we'll leave them like that, whatever. Okay, and then potentially I'll add a little bit of shadow under each one to kind of give them a little bit more, more depth. Um, but okay, all right, next one. Again, boop, 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 We did this one, not you, and then uh, change this to 0.7, I believe. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh my god. I, I never, ever have wanted to rotate my image. Never, ever. I get it that you might, but, uh, just saying. Why? That. I think I'm actually gonna have to um, do this like this, unfortunately, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's, everything's fine. Everything's fine, just like my life. Nothing, nothing, nothing's the matter. I'm not stressed. Not me, stressed. Not what? Medical school. Very, very nice. Uh, the one thing I do kind of want to do there is spend a little time on the pressure and take it. So, like, I think this should be. Nope, that's not where we want to go. Here. Nope. It's going to be all over here, huh? Yep, there we go. I want to make it thinner over there so that way it looks like it's farther behind you. And then also at. Right there. The apex. I want to thin that out. Right in the center. This one's right in the center. There we go. Okay, cool. I think that looks good. Now we've got a little bit of adornment on him. Maybe I'll add like a gold shoulder patch to the arm. We'll see. But uh, as far as that goes, I think that looks nice. And I'm going to make his little chain right here. His little gold chain. I, the weird thing is, like, I'm not even that stressed about the exams. So I'm in DO school. Um, I don't even know if I should be saying this. Um, instead of MD school, they're basically equivalent, except for DOs do something called osteopathic manipulation, um, which is, like, basically chiropractics with a little more science involved. And some things are really useful. Some things it's, like, total BS. It's, like, and I personally, like, it's hard to motivate myself to do it because it's, like, such... Oh, I just don't know how to explain it. It's like so irritating to me. Um, okay, let's make him a little necklace. So here's where it will hang, maybe a little lower. Okay. And then we will, of course, have it kind of go in like this. I think for this one, I'm actually not going to make it random because I think this is going to be the center. So I'll make it like 1.5 thickness. Maybe, maybe just one at one point. I, I didn't even need to do that. Change those two to preset. But anyway, so I've got that exam and I'm like not thrilled about it <laughs> because I'm like, I haven't been paying that much attention. Whereas my other stuff, I'm like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not even stressed. But I'm like, I got this, you know? Okay, cool. Um, now. The problem is that we're having a gold chain underneath like this gold scarf here. So maybe I make these like 
match this more because it's like material and this is actual gold. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna make that will solve a lot of problems, in fact. So these ones, I want the fill to be more like this color. So that's matching that. And then we'll have, what if we do this? Nope, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Nope, that does not. That don't look good. Nope, nope, nope. And that's the rate. <laughs> so now that doesn't even look gold. So that's it. We keep it like that, okay? We keep it like this. And then you know what I'll do maybe for this one is I'll make the outline like dark, and then it, so that way it really cuts. Anyway, so we'll say that this is the pendant. That's the that's the chain there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go layer, expand stroke. Um, you'd think they would make that easier to do. So I want to put this here, and I want to put it underneath the vest, but on top of the uh, scarf type thing, I think. And then what we'll do, is I'll go over here, and now I can add a stroke. Um, here we'll, this is gonna be this color. Okay, we'll make this like, well first, let's just make this go on the outside, like that. And then we'll make the thickness, well no, it should be in the center. Okay, we'll make it like 0.5 and then we'll add the randomness. Ah. That is definitely a little too thick. Some friends take their new newborn to a Cairo. <laughs> Just me. That's crazy, dude. I, I've never heard of that. That's very interesting. Okay, so I don't think, why would you, yeah, why would you go to a chiropractor? Anyway, uh, so I don't think that, that's not dark enough maybe. Maybe I want to do like a grayish, something like that. No, but the, the, the dark looked way too dark, you know? Let's do this so that way I can actually see what we're on colorizing. Um, Purple. I wish, should I make it darker yellow? I know that's kind of cheating. I've added, this color is one I made, because I just, it, I just needed it to exist <laughs> for the color palette. So maybe I make it darker yellow? Oh no, 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 I forgot. You do orange for darker yellow. Mmm. Well, all right, all right, all right. Put this 
this on the shirt. Okay, and we'll change this color to be a darker red. Ah, as you see, steel covering. I see. Take this and mask it like that. There we go. All right, you know what? I think that uh, actually works pretty well. I think you can totally tell that those are separate things. So in fact, I think I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the only problem now is that I think that shadow needs to be a teensy bit bigger, but that's okay. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, let's make the emblem, shall we? Uh, for that, I'm literally just going to take a circle. Do I make? Yeah, I'll make a circle. Make a circle here, uh, and then I'm going to make it more emblem-like, like that. Go like this. Probably make it a teensy bit smaller. chain connection because I think that's the kind of detail that will certainly be lost. And then put that under here. Um, I want this to be on top actually. So this will be that pendant. And then we'll grab this and then make it into the correct colors. Like that. Okay. We'll spin right round, baby, right round. Okay, cool. Cuckoo. How thick is that? 0.8? Oh, yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. We'll figure it out. Okay, and then we'll just, again, do the same thing. Take like this. I'm going to move this onto here, like that. And then we'll make this this color. And we'll go like that, like that a little bit. Baby. Okay, now that should look a lot more like a pendant. Hopefully. Maybe it needs to come down a little bit as well. Oh, no, not that one. Not that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hate that. I, the reason I'm doing that, oh my god, is because I have to hold option and scroll to zoom. Oh my god, I did it again. I just, I want to disable that feature. I've never done it on purpose. Okay, I think that gives you a good amount of separation there. Like what you're expecting. So let's see, what if I just make this one though? Yeah, that's better. Oh, but that's the wrong color, is it? it shouldn't be the wrong color. But it is. Okay. There we go. That's, that's the correct color. There we go. Okay, that looks good. And now we're going to make the jewel or facet that goes in it. Uh, the question is... I think a circle is good because it breaks up all the sharp points in here and then adds a little circle. Um, but then let's make... Uh, uh, what what the... What's the green gem called? Um, there are going to be, I think, six. First off, what's green jewel? Emerald, that's what's called. Okay, well, actually. Emerald necklace uh, cartoon. Okay, so go to my Google Docs and switch to the correct person. Nope, that's the wrong one. Game ideas. Feel free to take any of these ideas, I don't really care. Um, okay, so we've got Bulwark, Swordsman, Bard, so one, two, three, yeah, six characters. So right now I've made the Bulwark, the Swordsman, and the Drunkard. I need to make, I'm making the Mage, then we got the Archer and the Bard. Um, but yeah, I might also do, oh, that looks good actually. 
Uh, I might also do uh, normal maps for him and do some cool lighting. Okay, this is kind of what I was thinking about. I think that might be a little difficult to achieve. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot going on there. Okay. You could also do something like this. This would be the easiest route. Just make the emerald and then just kind of have it like sit in a facet like that, like hang. So that's interesting. But uh, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's try this out. So I'm going to grab. Actually, you know what I can do is copy that and then I'll change the colors here to this that that's an ugly tail ugly tail okay and we'll bring it down center like that i'll make this notably smaller like 0.5 maybe maybe even less first of all first of all this should be like that second of all this should be like maybe even 0.3 okay cool um and then this does need to be bigger more definitely more like something like that okay uh, and then what you can do is if we go like BS, you can take all these and convert them to sharp points. Oh, but it usually doesn't do it quite so much, but uh, that's okay. Anyway, let's so we'll go a little something like this, a little something like this, like this. Uh, you know what, in fact, I am going to do it that way. Okay, like this, like this, like that. Okay, cool. And then here we'll do we'll do what I did there. Do this. Okay. And then we'll make this. We might even just make it totally symmetrical, like this. And then these ones will be lowered as well. So something like that. Okay. Um, and then in fact, I'm gonna do this. Duplicate it. V. Transform. Flip horizontal. I don't have snap on, so let me, let me see. Sometimes this works. This is like the only one that doesn't really work for me all the time, but it did that time. Grab them together, boom, there's our emerald, okay? Um, and then what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of shifty. Get, I'll get swifty. Okay, just like that. I'll kind of have this come off a little bit like that, potentially even make it a little bit bigger here. All right. And the reason is because then that will kind of give it looks a three-dimensional shape when it looks like it's kind of coming forward. It already does, which is cool. Once we add a little bit of shading here, it'll really pop. Um, yeah, I just smelt my armpit. You know why? Because I am using Native Deodorant, the sponsor of today's video. I fucking wish. No, Native Deodorant's great, though. I use them. I do indeed. One day I'll have sponsors. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. Okay. And so we want to do a little something like this. We'll have this come out to like here-ish and then there-ish. For these ones, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, randomness, I think. Uh, and then we'll probably want to make these even smaller. Now we'll leave them at point 0.3. We'll see what that looks like. Okay. And then again, these under there like that. Um, okay. Got a little something like that. Okay. And then we'll do something very similar right here. Nope. See how this looks. Might not be a winner, but at least it's a trier. You know, I think this whole thing needs to go like that a little more. Yeah, I think I'm doing this wrong. But uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. I am liking the green, though. I have to give it to you, Nostalgia Belief. It's, uh, it's growing on me right now. Um, okay. And then, this. Beep. Beep. So I feel like it should be... And then I, I just don't think that when 
I link these up, it's gonna, gonna work the way I expected it to. I, I mean, it looks like something, that's for sure. Oh, you know what? That, uh, that doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look great, but uh, I think it looks okay. I think what's kind of happening is that it, yeah, it definitely looks different. Uh, but maybe good enough Because if we're gonna be all the way out here. I think you'll be able to get the idea. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that um, And then what I think I'm gonna do is actually go to this one and then make this like just point four That pops a tiny bit more and then you know like what what's what okay cool and then again I'm gonna take this copy it uh, Except I'm going to delete all these because it's gonna be in the background. It's gonna be behind this um, we can put this even underneath this, okay, and then I'm gonna make it, oh, see, there's no color darker, oh yeah, you're supposed to use the orange, I always forget that, use the orange. No. Okay. Although it's fine that that's named B, but uh, I wanted to do this. to the gem itself. So we'll go again back in here. We'll see if this even shows up at all. Um, and I'm gonna go start here, I'm gonna go here, 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 here. Yeah, that'll be good. And then I'll we'll come like this. I guess it does. Does it need that though? I think it actually looks pretty good up there, but not so hot there. So a few things I want to do. One, I'm going to make it smaller, which maybe not the best thing. Two, or you know what I'm going to do actually, is not make it smaller, but instead have the pressure gradient taper. Like so. So we can make it a little more smooth like that. There we go. I think that'll... Oh, except that looks awful. Why would you do that to me? Um, what do you want from me? Oh, okay. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Come on. So first you won't do that, and now I can't get you to stop doing that. Okay. Okay. 
If this is so stupid that I'm doing this. <laughs> you could add an accessory sprite in that skeleton hierarchy. Should be different characters. You could also make it moving separately in animation later to support the 3D effect. Oh, for sure, that would be cool. That would definitely take a lot of effort, though. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, because the only way I could see to do that was to make this the the clothing on one layer, then the body on another layer, and then this on the layer in between, have it like sway and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna go into all that. Um, anyway, okay, cool. So we've got that, and now I'm gonna add some shading from the jacket right here. And then I might have to go, because I might, I might have to eat some lunch. Okay, so then we're gonna grab this one. Okay, and then I'll grab orange. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna do the F a little bit. I don't know, it's not doing it for me. There we go, okay. And then, so let's see, okay, we'll do this. And the idea here is that this will be part of, this should be outside of this. And then, there's a necklace. There's the shadow for these these dudes here, these failures. Okay. And then this will go under this one. Yes, okay, cool. The problem is that um, it doesn't work for all these lines, so what I'm gonna need to do is do this, make a copy of that, and that one's gonna be on top. We're gonna take these ones and we're gonna do that, but then I need to change this color to be a lighter color. Actually, even just, just actually, actually even this color. Oh, that actually works pretty well. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks like there's a shadow there, and it kind of adds some depth, which is all I wanted to do. So I should probably also add his, his head shadow because that adds a lot to the whole thing just to put a shadow right there. And it's super easy. So we'll take, I guess we need to count his beard here. So I'll say like, well, in fact, I'm going to copy the whole head and then we'll take the beard and stuff, and the whole head here. And I will make it into one curve. That did not work. Why did that not work? I just want to take this curve and then the basic head curve here. Delete. Take these guys. Merge. Perfect. Oh, now he kind of looks like a squid guy. But again, the point of this is just to make shadows. Um, okay, put this behind the head. Obviously. Ah. Usually for the head shadow, I don't do like an exact thing though, because I want it to look more like a real shadow, but uh, we'll see. So, so, okay. Okay, and then we'll do, do a little something like this. Okay, and then well it needs the other problem is like if it hits the shoulder then it kind of blows it up, blows it away. Well I mean one thing, I want this to be darker. Is that the color? So this is no that's gonna be the shaded color, for sure. Okay, and then we'll take this. Move it. Okay, and then we're gonna take this and put it into this curve like that. Okay, there's a basic step for that. Yeah, looks good enough. Okay. And then quite a few things we need to do. Oh, that's a curve? No, 
Ja, nej, inte alltså. Nej, inte alltså. Okay, and then we're going to change the color of this to be like that. What? Oh, I made it the... Ah, I see. That's what happened. I'll make these, these color. There we go. But uh, that's not... I don't think that's quite dark enough, but that's a problem. Because... Yeah, that's not quite dark enough. That might be a problem. A little problemo. <laughs> Because, because this is like not really a yellowish color, when I make it any darker, I don't worry it's not gonna look. Nope, that works fine. That looks just fine. Okay, in fact, fantastic. Okay, good. Now we're gonna take this again. And we're going to take it over down to this guy right here. Paste it in right there. Make it go underneath this like that again. Uh, and then we're gonna change that to the orange color. We all know and love. Yeah. Is it this one? Oh, that's what I used there. That was accidental, but uh, that's fine. Actually, it actually looks pretty good as that orange, even though I think it was supposed to be the lighter orange that was to be used. Well, now let's go check it out. And what does it look like? Oh, you could define a resource. Give it the sprite path and export a vector to, then add the accessory position. You add a resource, give it the sprite path and export to a vector to, then add the accessory position. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's not the hard part. The hard part would just be the visuals. The visuals of making this appear underneath this and moving, you know? Uh, that would be the tough part. But okay, so I've got that. So I wanted to check on... It's gonna be on... It is gonna be on this one. No, it's not gonna be on this one. This one right there. Okay, that should be... Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. This one right there. Okay, and that should be this type of color technically. But I actually don't like that as much there. Interesting. So that was a pretty good mistake, I would say. Because that looks a lot more definitive as a shadow. Or what we can do is just make it bigger in the other color. But that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing, I think, here for the beard. It looks... Nope. Not that. That. Okay. And that's nice and definitive to make that show there. And then finally, we just need to do this once more uh, for the shirt. Fun process, I know. Okay, cool, and then we make that this color. Nope, this color. And there we go, there's his head shadow cast upon his shirt, gives him quite a bit more. Health. The only problem with that is that uh, his head's going to move, but uh, I don't think that'll be a, a too big of an issue because it'll be covered and stuff and look fine. Okay, well, that looks good. Okay, and then now I need to fix that as well. Is that, no, that's this one, right? Yeah, it is this one. Where is that? Is that it? What? Is that in here? Okay, fine, I'll just do it this way. Oh, uh, I'm just stupid. That is all this. I am big dumb dumb. Wow, wow, we won. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I think that really, that d much darker orange really makes it look like there's something on it, which is cool. Okay, very, very nice. Now I do think that this one just needs to be bigger in general. Um, 
that's you're just not going to see this detail from the size that you're going to see these sprites. They're going to be like that big at the bottom of the screen. So I don't think you're going to be able to see that unless we make it a bit thicker. Actually, that is okay to go like that because that gives it the illusion of being a separate layer. But then now we need to copy this. Do this one? Yeah, it's okay. Place it there. We just take this, put that there, and delete this. Except this now needs to be. Oh, and then we need to fill this. No, it is this one. Oh, just fill it with that. No! What is wrong with me? Ah, is that it? Is that all? Bring this out of here. What? I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind, I think. Okay, that's what that was confusing to me. These should go all the way through. Confuse as to what was happening. Getting lost in the sauce, y'all. Nope. Okay, so we're in this group. And we're looking at this. Now if we get rid of that. Ah, this is the problem. This needs to be filled with that. And this is actually fine. Well, okay. Oh, I forgot. You, there's no forward infinity designer. There is, but it's it's not. It's not the best. Okay. So we do this, do this. Maybe I should uh, label these things? <laughs> why, dude? What are you doing? What? Oh, that's why. Nope. What the heck? So we've got those lines right there, and we've got this. Here are these curves. Oh, because these are already masked. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay. Okay, that, I was losing my mind. Okay, nice. All for that infinitesimal amount of detail. So it's pain, yes. All right. Mm, I gotta pee and I'm hungry. But uh, let's do just a little more, just a little more stuff, right? Why not? Why not? Um, I don't want to do too much detail on the arms uh, because uh, it has to be reflected on both. But let's let's go ahead and do make a little arm stuff. Make just a little little patch type thing here. Or at least we'll we'll check it out. We'll see what this looks like if I do do this. If I do do.
I don't think it needs that at all, so I'm not gonna do that. I would be interested to look at other sorcerers. That's an interesting take. That would be really hard to do, though. Um, interesting. That's weird. They have all that detail. He just has, like, legit pauldrons. That guy looks a little too... A little heavier than what I'm thinking. That guy looks like he kicked my ass. That's not what I wanted. Oh, maybe it could just be another layer of that stuff to add. That could be cool. Let's actually get that back and then just change it to this and this. Nope. This. This? Yeah, there we go. That would look good. Okay, great. That's what I'm doing. Alright. And then this should be size 1. Why is it doing that? Why is it sharp? They shouldn't be sharp. Ah, I don't remember doing that. That's annoying. Why? Oh my god. Stop it. Tell me what is your major malfunction. Oh, that's because the... Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm slowly slipping into madness, yes? But now I need to undo that. And then we'll go back here and we'll click on this one. Or this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger than the arm is. So it looks like it's actually on top. We'll make this come down like so. Okay, and then I want this to look very... Uh, wavy type stuff. I don't like that. So it's just kind of like an extra bit of like cloth on top for some reason. Don't ask me why. I think that's looking good. I, re I really do. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Hopefully everyone remembers that. It was a great movie, Cal Dagan that. Okay, so that's cool. And then I'm not gonna do the gold on the arms, but then what that allows me to do is to do the gold on this one. So we'll do this. We'll make that dad. I wanna figure it out. There we go. Make this point. Cool. No. That's one thing I really hate about food designers sometimes. There we go. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine. Be like that. Be like that. Alright, let's do this. Interesting. That's fine. 
All right. Well, I think that works. Maybe I just need to make this even smaller. That's the problem. I'm not actually having anything to do with this. But uh, that this itself needs to be. Just a little bit. Baby. Just a little bit of my love for you. Yeah, well, something like that. And then we'll go like that a little bit. Nope. Cool. Yeah, it's looking much better. And then finally, we'll get these guys grouped together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, well, again, I guess it's probably much too close. Go into here, P, go here, go here. And then we'll go like that, trying to match that curve approximately. Approximately. Okay. And then we'll put that in the arm like this, like this one, and then we'll make the color here the darkest purple. No. Darkest purple, darkest purple. What is that? Ah, that is a little bit of a problem, no? Oh. a problem because what then would be the shadowing I mean that works pretty well right there but uh, for right there that's not gonna cut it you want something that's gonna be that's way too dark Also looking very, very dark. I feel like it should be something in between those. So maybe I'll do that. So the way that I typically do something like this. Don't tell anybody. I know I was like literally saying not to do this, but if you take that color and you put it over this color, and we change the opacity, or opacity, maybe, like that. Okay, there you go. That looks great. And then what you can do with that as well is we can go right here and then or it doesn't actually matter we'll do this okay and i'm going to add that to the palette and then we can put that right here um and then so that's kind of an in-between color now between this one and this one oh except this is the opacity yeah it needs to be 100 okay and now wait what the fuck <laughs> why did that work That has worked in the past. So like, this is at 50, so then if I take this and go get this... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, we gotta actually do that. So let's do it. There we go. And now, I wanna go ahead and hit this. Perfect. Now we've got that nice blend of the purples there. And that allows us to do that shading quite nicely right there. And then also I will add, actually this should be much smaller as well. A few things I want to do here. One, this. I also want to move this up a little bit. A bit more pronounced over that a ways. Okay. Um, and then pick this one. And come on, I still. All right, looking good, looking good. So I think that's probably going to be it. I do am very tempted to work on the beard and stuff. Hair is not fun, but whatever. But uh, I guess what I will do real quick though is make the, the lighting hitting the face here. So that's pretty simple to do.
comes in, we'll do, okay, so this pressure is good, and then we'll take these both to end like that, and we'll increase the size here. That color definitely should be this one, though. pretty good and that also looks pretty good all right so there's the slight light shading on the face that kind of gives you that general feel of lighting coming from that side um, with bald people we can also do an extra little bit of sparkle here it's real shiny where you kind of go something like like this give it a nice curvature of the head here I guess we do want it to follow it almost exactly. We can go like something like this. Um, bring this back a little bit. Okay, and I'm actually going to get rid of the randomness here. We want this to be perfectly flat like that. Um, and then what I'll do is take this one and just get a little bit smaller like that. Um, and then maybe, I don't know if I like this. Actually, I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look good. Okay. You wanna try and mirror the actual head shape though. I don't think I'm doing that best. Okay, cool. And then to actually do this, we're gonna take this and we're gonna click layer, span stroke. Okay, and we're gonna get another one here like this, and try to get this to go like perpendicular, something like this. Go like perpendicular, yeah, like some point like that. Um, and then we go layer, stroke, and we put that over here, nope, right there. Okay, and then we subtract like that. And then you come in like this. I like to just lightly round these off. That. Maybe even like this a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna use the corner tool here, bring these corners in a little bit so it's not quite so sharp. Okay. And then voila, we've got the spirally bald head. Very nice and a very shine. Yeah. Hell yeah. He uses like magic balm on his head. It's, he has the healthiest skin. Okay. Well, fantastic. I still think maybe I should change the shoe color. Let me just give that a little shitty shot. Yeah. So we've got this, what is this color of this hat? I, you know what, I, can, I know how to use my brain. I think. I know how to use my brain. I need brain. Okay, so we would do like something. Okay, so this is this color currently. Do that color. That definitely works. Potentially, potentially, definitely. Uh, and then we would change this to probably. No, that's not dark enough. That maybe. What did I do on this on this hat? Oh, I did do. The, I used the same very dark color there. I think I agree with that still. I think that looks best to have it quite dark. And then what we can do is grab all the shading, which is really just this, right? Nope. Here it is. The one labeled lighting. Uh, and then we we can then do that right there. Yeah, that works. Okay, so these are gonna be made out of whatever material this guy's hat's made out of here. Okay, and then uh, then we just need to fix the, the this one. Make it one shade lighter, like that. Beautiful. And then something I just noticed about that lighting is that we should 
almost certainly have this start to come around here and then kind of fade out like this. So something like this, and then you kind of have this go like that. And then as this comes around the bend, it fades out like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. And then I'm just, I could have one dark and the other. I mean, that makes sense, but I'm not going to. The other foot in here? Not supposed to be. It is. Okay. Elite. The one footed mage. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Probably should have positioned it uh, before removing it, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. There's our mage. I think that looks pretty frickin' sweet, honestly. He looks like a fucking boss. I'm still like considering if I want to put like some crazy like weird designs on here, some like weird curves and spirals and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I think for right now I'm done. Uh, my bladder is about to explode and I'm starving, so I'm gonna save it. Probably come back finish this later off stream. Maybe I'll do another art stream. Um, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have just spent two hours doing this. You know, arguably so. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, hopefully this weekend, after I take my tests, I should have some time to finish up the last uh, non-coders guide to GDScript. I know there's only one person watching. Uh, and then, yeah, do some other stuff. Like, I want to do another good Q&A stream, and then I actually want to get to working on this game a little bit. Um, just a little bit. But, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Yeah. Have a good one. Wait, where the hell is OBS Studio? There you go. Alright. See you guys. <laughs>